Okay, so this video is an update to my VMware image videos, and this video will show you how to install 10.8.3 OS X Mountain Lion on your PC in VMware on either an Intel or AMD PC. Now, before I get started, make sure that you check the link in the description for the downloads and anything that I refer to in this video. And there's also going to be a lot more information on like various little um, things that you can do to improve functionality um, for your PC. Um, so just check out the link is in the description. And the download will be a torrent or a direct download. As, it, as I said, both will be found in the link in the description. And once you've downloaded the file, um, you'll have an archive. So you just want to extract the archive and you'll be left with um, these three folders. Now, as usual, um, some of you will know that I'm not going to go through these two folders here. Um, if you look in the top left and the top right of the video, you'll see um, tutorials on how to use those. Everybody should have used the Mac OS X guest unlocker, um, so this folder here. So everybody who hasn't done that already, check that you um, make sure you go check that video. And only some people who have um, an error about software virtualization not being supported um, need to use the hardware virtualization bypasser. If you're not sure about if you need to use that or not, um, just watch the tutorial for that and it will explain everything. And in the top folder, you have OS X Mountain Lion, which is the VM. Now, inside this VM, you'll have three commands and then the VMware files, which are these four files here. Now, as you can guess, um, you need to run whichever command, like... Um... Now, as you can guess, the commands are basically to enable different types of kernel. So the Intel people is on by default, so you don't need to run the Intel kernel unless you've already like changed to the AMD kernel at some point. And so if you're an AMD user, just go and double click the AMD kernel and you'll get this little window and just select if you want to back up or not. I'm just going to put no. And once that's done, that'll, that's basically how you enable the AMD kernel. Now, because I'm using an Intel machine, I'm just going to go back to the Intel one. And if you double click the VMX, um, you should open VMware Workstation like this. Now you can see in the left, um, there's some contact information, you know, what it's based on. And as like, again, I'm telling you that the instructions are on the link in the download, which will ironically goes to this video. And so if you go to edit virtual machine settings, um, you can change memory depending on how much you want to allocate. Um, I always allocate a gigabyte, but some people may want to do more, um, especially if you're experiencing like slow um, running of your VM. Um, you can also add cores and stuff from your processor. You can add um, CD drives and stuff like that if you want to. Um, the way I have it here, the way it's set by default is basically how I use it and it works perfectly fine for me. So um, for sound, you may want to just specify your host sound card and just select um, whichever it is you're using. Um, that doesn't isn't required for everybody, but it can be useful for some people. And if you go into the options, you can set up um, shared folders if you want and stuff like that. Now, shared folders requires VMware tools. And if you check it, the link in the description, there's also a link to VMware tools for you to install. Don't install it from anywhere apart from the link that's in that tutorial because any tools you find will probably be older. Um, as I found on the 10.8.2 release, there are a lot of people installing like the Darwin Snow tools from like two years ago and saying that they weren't working. So um, just make sure you use the ones that I linked to directly because they'll always be updated. And so once you've set up that how you want, just click on OK and then power on the virtual machine. And then when this little menu pops up, just click I copied it. And um, that's just to do with the UUID of the uh, VMDK file. And then wait for it to boot up. It shouldn't take too long. Um, I think it boots up in about a minute maybe. Um, mine will probably take slightly longer right now just because I'm recording at the same time and it's actually taking up quite a lot of my CPU. And so while I was waiting for this to boot up, I'll just tell you that the AMD build, well, the AMD kernel, sorry, actually ha is as good as the Intel kernel in terms of like um, everything. Basically, the only thing you can't do is set um, NVRAM variables, but you, if you had the need to do that, you can probably do that 
um, by editing the VMware files if you wanted. So I guess that's not really an issue. Right, so when the spinner pauses like that, um, that means that it's about to turn. You can see the mouse has appeared in the top left. Um, so just give it a minute. And if the boot does take longer than a minute on your laptop or PC, just make sure you give it a good you know, amount of time to set up because the first time that it boots will be the longest time it takes because it has to set up the new, um, the new kind of system environment, which I will show you in a second. Okay, so then you'll be granted with the screen. Um, so just go on to um, whatever it is you want to set it up as. So I'm just going to go through it very quickly. Um, you should all do the same. Of course, set it up for how you want it. Uh, if you just put some random information into here. Um, I think there's actually a bug in, yeah, if you're trying to click thumbnails, there's a slight bug there. Um, the thumbnails are actually, ironically, okay, maybe they're not still there. I thought they were, but um, there's a bug with that, but you can always change it afterwards. So if you change it in your actual account afterwards, so it's not really that big a deal. And if we just go through, and then click start using your Mac. And so you can see that we've now been greeted with the Mac desktop environment. Um, you can see finders working at the top and you have all the apps at the bottom. And maybe I can very quickly show you if I just turn my sound up, that um, if I change the sound on this, maybe, Yeah, okay. Um, you can hear that sounds working. Um, let's see if you can hear that the volume changes when I move the thing. So you can see that um, volume works in the VM. Um, I'll just turn my sound off. off. Um, I've also included graphics drivers. So if you go to system preferences and then in the menu that appears afterwards, um, go to display. So displays. And then you can see that you can actually select um, your display size. Um, that's something that I added this time. It wasn't there before. Um, so if I go for 1280 by 800, for example, you can see that it changes. And then if I went to um, full screen mode, for example, you can see I now have effectively a full screen Mac system. So that's something that I added in this one, um, just to save a lot of questions about resolution because they were starting to like annoy me after I'd answered it so much. And so there you go. Um, that is um, OS X Mountain Lion 10.8.3 running in VMware, as you can see here. And yeah, that's about it. Um, it all works perfectly fine. As I said, you can't really judge performance based off this video because of um, the stuff that my computer is doing whilst I'm recording this. Um, so just give it a try for yourself. And as I said, yeah, the first boot um, could take a while, you know, a little longer to get itself sorted, but after that, it should be perfectly fine. And one thing I'm going to make perfectly clear right now is as, as soon as you have this kind of screen, you know, like as soon as it's booted up to this point, you want to take a snapshot of your VM. So if you go to VM and go to snapshot and then take a snapshot, make sure you wait for the snapshot to be completed. And basically what a snapshot does is if you break anything in future, you can revert to snapshot, which you can see is here. And what that'll do is it'll reset your machine back to what, like how it was when you took a snapshot. If you're using, if for example, if it was Windows, think of it as like system restore, um, but a bit better. And basically anything you break will just reset. So that saves you re-downloading um, any images or anything like that. Um, so that's just something to note. Um, when you're updating, be very careful. Make sure that you check the, um, our website first because you know, you can never be sure about how an update's gonna go. Um, the 10.8.3 update, ironically, went better for people using the AMD kernel on 10.8.2 um, because on VMware, there was kind of, there was an MVRAM bug with um, 
um, with the Intel stuff, so I had to sort that out. But yeah, um, you can see it's a lot nicer than it used to be um, with resolution and stuff. That's out of the box for you now, so um, good luck with that. And yeah, so any questions, just let me know in the comments, let me know on the site, email me, whatever it is you feel like doing, tweet me. Um, as I said, down the links are in the description. There's going to be a torrent and a direct download will be added very soon. Um, and yeah, apart from that, um, good luck. Hopefully it works just fine for you. I remember to subscribe to my channel. There's going to be more stuff in the future. Um, I'm going to bring out a bunch more um, native videos at some point. I just need to get the time to do it. And I'm also going to bring out um, possibly something interesting that will kind of help you with setting up a native installation from a VM if I can get it to work properly. So mm. there's all there's a bunch of stuff to look forward to. As I said, leave comments, like the video, favorite, subscribe, do all the typical YouTube stuff. Mm. And don't forget to let your friends know if they ever need something like this to come check out my channel. So thanks again. I hope this was helpful. And as usual, any issues, just let me know and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. So that's all there is to say. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.